Hey guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? My oh wow, that thing is in my hair. <laughs> I forgot to get it out. Anyway, long story short, um, yeah, I got I think I like I found like four dollars on my table. You know that. So, well anyway guys, um yeah, this was supposed to buy a bottle of water yesterday and I, I didn't remember I bought it, I fell asleep. Um I'm uh what am I what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to do a quick uh, live video. Uh it's getting it's gonna get crazy guys. Um so what I'm trying to say to you again is that I'm starting to do a little bit more research in, on um, what's really going on when it comes to the banking side, what the feds are doing. And um, for what I'm seeing, and I woke up early this morning, I started digging a little bit more, is that you see for yourself, the price of food is actually getting really, really bad. It's getting out of control. Now, what I'm trying to prepare you guys for is that this is just the beginning of what's coming. This right here, and I guess this was here for a reason, I call this, it's it's not money. It's called, it's fiat currency, guys. This is four bucks, all right? Um, really and truly, it is, it is what's needed when you want to buy uh, goods and you want to exchange goods. Uh, when you want someone's service, you got to pay. Well, it's also digital, but, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's the legal tender uh, by the feds. And this was signed in um, 1913 by the Federal Reserve Bank. But... This right here is actually going to come to zero. Um, basically, you could have a bar of this, a whole box of it, and they're going to come a point where you can't even going to buy a bread with not even 50 bucks because it's going to come to zero. Um, what's really giving this value right now is the petrodollar, guys. Um, a lot of these countries are getting away from it. First of all, once Saudi Arabia starts stepping away from it, that's... That's the death of the petrodollar. So that's one of the main country that keep this thing going. And they're stepping away from it. Not only that, they're also uh, getting their uh, national security now from Russia. They're using mostly Russian military equipment. And uh, it's already signed. The, it, the deal is already made. So anyway, that's not really what I'm um, trying to... That's not really the purpose of this, this call. It's just to make you aware of this. That you know this is coming to an end. This right here. It's no longer going to have any values coming to zero. And what's going to happen, this is going to create some serious, serious problem. Uh, there's a fin financial collapse coming. I see that coming somewhere around, I say summer. I'm saying August um, because I, I, you know, I, dab, I, I look a lot, I dabble a lot on the Forex market. And Forex market is really currency. So I keep an eye on, uh, on currency. And a lot of these p traders, they're actually staying away from buying getting into the US, US economy because the currency ain't worth anything anymore. And they, they I mean, they're seeing it for themselves. So it's not where they want to go with the investment anymore. When you buy Forex, you, it's like buying stocks. You're not buying shares in a company. You're buying shares in an economy. So when the big traders are no longer want to buy shares in this economy, we have a problem here, folks. And I just want to make you guys aware of it. One of the best thing you could do, as I said, Stack up on food, guys. Stack up. You can never have enough canned food. Um, seeds. Invest your money in seeds if you can, because as I said, this don't mean anything. I can't put barbecue sauce on this and and, and eat it. But I, with seeds, you know, you, you can germinate the seeds, create crops, put from the dirt to the table. Now that process, you have to take the time to learn that by getting the right information. So I'm just bringing that to your attention that the U.S. currency is on the verge of collapse and the U.S. economy. And it's sometime this summer, um, as I said, it's not just seen it in the article and the, the article that I'm getting, uh, I'm reading and also information that I'm getting from good source that I have that send me information. I'm also seeing it when it comes to day trading. So a lot of people are not aware of day trading. Stocks is when you buy shares in a company. That's when people buy stocks. Now on the Forex market, you buy share in an economy. So you're buying really these things right here. So... And no one's really, the big traders, don't, they don't want this anymore. So they know what's coming. So I'm just trying to bring you guys up on speed. Um, I really don't watch the news, guys. A lot of people might comment back on any of my posts. You know, chances are when I glimpse on the news and I pay little attention, a lot of people that respond to me, they sound just like Fox News, CNN. I don't, so if you guys want to bring uh, the mainstream media to my attention, uh, the information, that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not aware of it. Because I do not watch that. Because I already know it's all propaganda, you know. So I don't pay attention to that. I'm just being honest, guys. I'm not being rude. I'm actually being really honest here. 
So, you know, I, I just like to do my own research. And when, once I get the information, I pass it on. And whatever you want to do with it, it's completely up to you. But guys, get yourself ready. This summer is not, it's going to be extremely bad for a lot of people because they don't know what's coming and they're not prepared. There's a food shortage coming. There's a collapse coming. And the interest rate is going to get out of control. Good luck with you guys who have those ridiculous mortgage because I know for a fact a lot of people are going to suffer from it. So anyway, I got to get going. So I want to thank you guys for watching my video and my phone is about to die.